Hey guys, Boy with the Cones here. So I wanted to start off this video by saying I am really, really close to reaching my 4,000 hour goal before the 20th of this month. Uh, I'm just under 100 hours, so if you could please take the time, watch this entire video and my other videos, it would be so much greatly appreciated. Uh, if you do and I reach that, I'll be able to keep my partnership status and that would just mean a lot to me. So with that, let's get right into this. So, what does it feel like to be a GD mod? First of all, it comes with lots and lots of responsibility. This is because Rob himself trusts you, and you're the most powerful people in the game. With this responsibility comes a few unwritten rules. These include joking about your mod in a harmful way, or sending bad levels. This will most likely result in unmod like Robok had, which was very sad. But it just shows you that Rob's not messing around with this. But besides the responsibility, it's a great feeling to know that the creator of the game trusts you with this power. When you really stop and think about it, there's only about 60 modded accounts of the 2 million registered accounts. That means there's only 0.003% of the entire community has GD mod. This is a very, very small number. But even if you say there's only about 250,000 current active players, that's still 0.024, my bad, percent. I'm sorry for geeking out a little there, but I just wanted to show how rare it is that people have this. For most of the mods, including myself, Pressing the REQ button and seeing that green check mark is the most exciting feeling in the world. Now, the clip I just showed you was a recent clip of me pressing it again because I already have a video of the first time I pressed it on the computer. But still seeing that screen is a very exciting feeling to have knowing that you just got mod and an update 2.1 run Rob added it so it'll always show that as long as you have mod it no longer says this account has access for the rating suggestion system but yeah seeing that green check mark is one of the most exciting feelings to ever see and if you don't get excited by that if you play the game I'm not sure what would now, there's one little downfall to being mod, and this is the spammers. I have no problem if people DM me a level or send me a level through GD messages. That's fine. Most of the time, I just don't want to respond, but I still play the level. But that doesn't mean I don't read it. People sometimes take it to their advantage and start spamming me, and that's when they normally get blocked, and then they complain about it, saying I'm a bad mod. No. It means that I don't want to get start any tr conversation with you and the story. Now, something a lot of mods do, including myself, are level request streams. Uh, with this is when mods will have either a form or a bot like I have that pick up requests from users. This is really fun and one of my favorite things to do because I average about 40 to 60 when I'm at the top and I've been streaming for maybe an hour or two. And it's really good to see the people happy when you send their level, and even if they don't, if you play it, they still really enjoy it. Another one of these perks is if you're first and mod, Rob has a tendency to show up, which is really cool because I've peaked with my mod 120 viewers, and that's just really fun and really cool to have, because Rob's fun, he interacts with the people, and overall it's just a really, really cool experience and something I enjoy to do when it all runs well, and the bot I have is really good, made by Trials Falcon, and it's just really fun. So the level I'm showing you guys right now, I purposely didn't blur because it's an example, I'm going to show an example of me sending it. The overall mod experience is really fun, and I am very glad Rob gave me this chance back in May of 2017. I still send levels often, although people think I don't very active with it and it still keeps me very very motivated in this game uh, as I said earlier it makes it's just an overall really good experience and I just am glad to help the community out when I can I'm gonna tr stop the narration here and let you guys see the rest of the level so here's that Now 
Now here's a clip of me about to send this level. If you're not sure what mod does, I will show you exactly what I do before I send a level and how, about how long it takes. Now it takes a few seconds, but obviously I'm going to show what it does. So first thing I do if I like the level, I like it. And then I check how many stars I want. If it's five stars, I write five here. And then I do a nice comment for myself to know I sent it. So I'll say, nice level, great colors. Now something I always do before I send a level is I make sure I play it 100% or I sell the video. This level I happen to beat. If I don't beat it in normal mode, I'll do it in practice mode or watch a video. When I'm ready to send the level, I'll click the blue star on the left, select the star number, if it deserves feature, submit. Rating submitted. So that concludes the end of this video and what it feels like to be a GD mod. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I just hope you kind of feel see how it feels for me to be a mod, and I just still really enjoy it. I want to thank you guys for all watching. As I said earlier, I am very, very close to reading that 4,000 hour goal. I really hope you made it this far while watching the entire video. I have two non-GDD videos planned for the next few weeks. Vigor, my soul level, is still a work in progress, and I have... Uh, mega collab after that planned already so look forward to that so thank you guys for watching hope you guys subscribe give this a thumbs up and i will see you all in the next video Bye bye